questions, but I first wanted to ask, uh, why this film? Why, um, what, what drew, drew you to it? Um, what made you want to bring this story and, and subject to, to life for us? Uh, so if you could just sort of Raquel, talk about Raquel that. Raquel brought the story to right. me. Well, you know, it, it all, it really started initially, I'll, I'll bring, talk about the beginning and then you can finish it up. So it started with a conversation that I was having with my grandmother. And my grandmother, who's now uh, 99, she lives in Alabama alone on a farm. With 25 head of cattle. <laughs> and, and she, um, one day, you know, she was talking with me about her great-great-grandmother. And the two photographs that you saw were photographs of my great-great-grandmother, who was born a slave in Virginia and brought to Alabama uh, to live on a cotton plantation. And my grandmother was always real curious about history, and she would always talk to my great-great-grandmother about, you know, what was it like to be a slave? How did it feel to be sold into slavery with your mother? Uh, tell me about emancipation. And that was interesting to me, but one of the most interesting parts of their conversation was about the role that benevolent societies played in the lives of newly freed slaves. And I was just fascinated by it because, you know, in this country, uh, we have a working knowledge of slavery and em emancipation, but then as far as African American history is concerned, we fast forward to the 1960s. And a lot happened between emancipation and the 1960s that transformed African American culture. And one of the most important aspects of that transformation was the proliferation of benevolent societies. So Ipeta and I really wanted to preserve and document that uh, forgotten aspect of American history. So then I'll, that, so that's, that's some background. Then I'll tell you how uh, Ipeta, what happened that made her want to bring the story to life. We knew we had this production company. We thought we would be doing narrative film. And when he came back from this particular visit with his grandmother, he started telling me about the foot wash and the benevolent society. And, I'm, and he said, I think we have our first project. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here, just take some cameras back and take some pictures, because I've never heard of benevolent societies. And foot wash, isn't that something? Wash the feet. And he said, no, it's different. I said, well, go down there and take some pictures and come back. And he came back, and you see Raquel has like, his arm span is like, why? So he comes back with one photograph that particularly interested me. It was Raquel with this big smile on his face, arms akimbo in front of six naked women with the biggest asses I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 